a raven out there teasing the dogs. See it? It's sitting in the tree. <laughs> Got them all stirred up. There's another one out there. It's in the street over there. <laughs> Waiting for my water to boil for my tea. Windows off. <gasps> How can I see? Mm -hmm. So guess where we are? <laughs> Cold spot jeans. Yeah, we need to get some doggy booties. And where are they? They're usually up in the front here. Yeah, that last aisle is over. In the buckets. Doggy booties. There they are. Lots of doggy booties. Large ones. Large. I'm hungry. Mom is holding me hostage in Costco. <laughs> <laughs> she's been complaining since we got here that she's hungry. Yeah. We should have ate before we came. I should have had one of my drawer snacks <laughs> at my work. Yeah. I have a drawer where I've been hiding snacks. I grabbed a little handful of nuts from work. and uh, Yeah, my stomach is like trying to eat itself too. Is it just me or my eyebrows look like really bushy now? <laughs> no. <Ew. laughs> I was looking, you know, I think it's just a winter thing. Because I was looking last winter, my my eyebrows were really dark. Well, the problem is you wake up when it's dark, and so you can't see. And then you go to work, and then you come home when it's dark. So you could just not see yourself very well <laughs> in, like, the house lighting. Yeah. <laughs> so it's probably is just a winter thing. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, like she said, we're at Costco. And we didn't do a haul because we only came for the fleece hoodie for Heather but then I said oh well mm. Thanksgiving's next week we should get our stuff for Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> yeah so so that's what we did let me show you what we got <laughs> okay so of course butter because everything takes butter and the ham was a really good deal so I got a ham a spiral sliced ham and some potatoes. some sweet potatoes and some regular potatoes. The mashed potatoes, soon mm -hmm. to be mashed potatoes. And then I, I was gonna try this this um, stuffing. It's cornbread cranberry stuffing. Yeah, cranberry. And it's got like Italian sausage in it. Oh. And and we're gonna try this um, pull apart cheesy bread. Yes. Oh, if you if any of you have ever heard of Violet Vlogs. She is also an Alaska family vlogger. She was obsessed with it last year. Yeah, and we <laughs> we meant to try it last year, but we it never just did. slipped our mind. Yeah, yeah, it's got mozzarella and brie cheese in it. Oh, my favorite. Three. Yeah, and then we got the meatloaf for tonight's dinner. 
which is what's driving Mary crazy. It's, it's making me drool just looking at but, it. But it's gonna take an hour to cook, so I think we're gonna start stop at Starbucks first. We got some pre-dinner snacks. Yeah, we got pre-dinner pre snacks. Oh my gosh, you guys, these things are addicting. This is a bad idea, bad, bad, bad. Well, I mean, we each get two, and then, I don't know, someone always gets the extra one. Me. Yeah, you. <laughs> and I have these sometimes for breakfast, so they're really not a bad breakfast. I mean, yeah. it's, it's got cheese. <laughs> And then, uh, then I got some um, evaporated milk. I always use a lot of that in the winter. And some milk for Heather and her hoodie. <laughs> the yeah. one thing we came for. <laughs> well, we asked if she wanted one because we liked ours so much. And she was like, sure, it might wear it lounging in my room. Yeah. Okay. Time to go get Starbucks so we don't starve to death. <laughs> Can you tell I missed my hairdresser appointment? Because <laughs> my my bangs are like <laughs> way down here. <laughs> you know, I was just talking to somebody about the Mary Poppins thing <laughs> because yeah. because you know Mary acts like a like a seven year old sometimes and runs back and forth and <laughs> pops up everywhere and and <laughs> and um, candy right candy. She <laughs> she yeah. she called her Mary Poppins and I said it's pretty funny because. Mary Poppins is Mary's favorite movie. <laughs> you know? It was. It was just growing up, you know? Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty cool. But, yeah, and I, and I actually, the reason why it came up was because of the, um, the junk journal. And the lady I was talking to is going to be making her own journals and, and things for like an Etsy shop. So, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So we're back from Costco. And, um, you know, we didn't do a haul thing. So it was just a quick, it's like we were going to go get the fleece thing for <laughs> for, <laughs> for Heather. And uh, you know, Heather loves it. And, you know, I was going to grab something for dinner. And I thought, you know, if I just get everything I need now for Thanksgiving, then I'm not going to have to go shopping again. It's yeah, it's Tuesday. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's Tuesday right now, and you know, everything that I have will keep until next Thursday. So yeah. we have you know like a week and a couple of days. I have to remember to take my turkey out of the freezer on Friday. <laughs> so, <laughs> so really, there's just a few little things we need to get yeah. extra. I just need to go to the store and get some. Um, actually, I've got the pumpkin too, I think, but I want to make sure I have extra around. So I want to get it while it's on sale. Uh, you know, I want to get extra cranberries and extra pumpkin and extra, um, pie crusts and stuff. So, yeah. But what'd you guess on the Costco haul? So, oh. Yeah. Okay. I'll show you the receipt. And there's the receipt. And of course, you know, the evaporated milk is something that we'll use all winter. And Heather's fleece hoodie. Um, I think we're going to keep the ham until Christmas because it's dated the middle of January. So, I, yeah, I think we're going to keep the ham until Christmas. But, yeah, so now I got all my stuff ready for Thanksgiving and it was $127.99. Crazy. Not bad for all of that stuff. I'm back. <laughs> so you'll be seeing this on Friday because um, I've already got the video for Wednesday edited. Or most of it. I gotta put music and whatnot in. And um, yeah, and and if you didn't catch it before, I'm pretty sure we mentioned it that we're gonna uh, put videos up. Uh, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday until all the vacation vlogs are up. Um, so I'm not sure if that's going to fill in all the days until the end of the month, but I'm sure that gives me enough time to get them all in before the end of the month. So, yeah. So you'll be seeing this um, Friday. <laughs> you'll be seeing it when you see it. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you later. <laughs>
I told Mary I really need a backdrop for back here because I actually like the way this light <laughs> shines, but uh, but there's coats behind me. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, I wanted to give a quick introduction to this video because this is when we left Detroit and went to Florida. And it's actually going to be two days because um, we kind of hung out at the Detroit airport for a while. It's, it's a little bit of a drive and I bought an air mattress to sleep on and uh, because the one that they had me use had a hole in it and it would empty out. So Mary ended up sleeping on the couch and, and I went and bought another air mattress and darned if that thing, it wasn't cheap. I, I figured I'm going to buy a good one and then I can leave it at their house and, uh, and it leaked <laughs> brand new, brand new. So I dealt with it. They put it on a cot for me and uh, you know, it didn't leak as much as the other one, but, and, you know, I had to take that back before we went to, went to the airport. And then we had, um, what was the name of that steakhouse at the airport? Do you remember, Mary? Uh, Longhorn? Longhorn, yeah. We went to Longhorn Steakhouse inside the Detroit airport. And, and then we flew down to Tampa and because we were going to stay mostly on that side of the state. And, um, we stayed at Rocky Point and it was a really nice place right outside. I mean, minutes from the airport. And we thought we should stay there on the way back because we were leaving from, um, Tampa. And I tried to get reservations for, uh, the night we were going to be back in town and there was a Rolling Stones concert in town. So everything was booked and they made a suggestion and, I didn't even think to ask for the price of the hotel they suggested. Yipes. <laughs> I don't want to tell you how much that was. <laughs> but anyways, that's the end of the video. And um, or all the vlogs. <laughs> but yeah, we, we stayed at Rocky Point and then we got up early in the morning and headed to Spring Hill, which is where we were going to stay for a few days. And um, on the way, we stopped at Tarpon Springs. And I don't know if any of you know anything about Tarpon Springs, but they're famous famous for their sponge docks and the um, the diving for natural sponges there. So, so that was an experience uh, for both Faith and uh, Mary because they had never been there before. Uh, I, being a Michigan girl, I kind of grew up with relatives all over Florida because <laughs> everybody retires down there. So I was familiar with Tarpon Springs and it hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> it looks exactly the same as it did 30 years ago. But it's it's kind of an awesome place. So you'll see that. And we'll get you to the video. Bye. It's an Amazon trip. <laughs> hey, you got any cookies for me? I haven't ordered anything though. Wow, it's getting closer. <laughs> And this is what you get when you've gone through Detroit and you've messed with all the traffic <laughs> and, and and the airport oh, bo boobaloo or whatever. What? Oh, uh, hullabaloo. Yeah, yeah all, all of the airport. It's very but, uh, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> we need to find these somewhere. All the Starbucks are closed to the Detroit airport.
spring sponge dogs. So we're in Tarpon Springs down by the sponge docks and here's some of the sponge boats. Lots of them, they go way down there. So it's sun Saturday, right? Saturday. It's Saturday and they're having a festival down here. I'm on I'm on so pretty cool. All about Boba. Oh, it's Boba. She's putting Boba on there. Look at that. Yum! <laughs> Those look really good. good. She's got all the bursting bubbles, Mary. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> surfboard table. Yeah, there's a shark bite in the surfboard table. These are cool. I like them. I really like the ones with the shark bites. I do too. I do too. Put them in your ear, just like this. See? Look. And then once you put them like this in the piercing, look, you just grab them and go right up that natural groove. Oh, look at that! Just one piercing. See that? Ah. They vary. Actually, I'm selling out of this size right here. It's very popular. My size too. So these are around forty-four dollars, thirty-nine, thirty-four, and then these are around fifty-nine or sixty dollars. Very cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, what's your favorite? I can try one on you if that's okay. Just like
Pippin Springs Police. And this is the river walk. So we came over here by the Sponja Docks and we spotted this sign across the road. World famous bakery. So if you haven't noticed by now, this is a Greek town. Look at all the baklava. Oh my gosh. It looks so yummy. It's like a bar on the water. <laughs> How cute is that? There's an opening at the Houston Terminal. Gosh, in Manatee yeah. area. Are there beaches in It's all the sponge divers. All their boats. Just for show, yeah. We're gonna go on a, a little cruise. A little cruise, a two-hour cruise. Two-hour cruise, yeah. We're, apparently we're gonna go to a bird watching place and we're gonna uh, hang out on a beach and we're gonna go see a lighthouse. And I don't know what Mary's doing. <laughs> this is what we're doing. I took a picture of it. Oh, the she took a picture of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So then we're going to go. Um, yeah, put our feet in the water. In the, in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah. Uh -huh. Toes in the water, toes in the sand. <laughs> yeah. Not a worry in the world. Cold beer in my hand. <laughs> I'll have a Gatorade because it's really hot. <laughs> you need those electrolytes. Yeah, my my it's 85. My um, my thermometer on the car coming in said 91. It's crazy hot down here. It's 88. Oh, she lied. With the real feel of 94. Uh, it's 88 with a real feel of 94. Makes it, yeah. I just <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a nice breeze, so maybe it'll be cooler on the boat. Looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll show you some stuff while we're out there. That looks like a nice boat.
we just got off that boat on a little island out in the middle of nowhere. And they got buckets to pick up seashells. How cool is that? bakery and they actually have a restaurant and we had key lime pie we didn't get a we're gonna get saganaki we, um, we didn't get a video of the key lime pie because it was like amazing yeah we're ready waiting for our food waiting, waiting for the flaming cheese this place is busy 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 got the tiny hall again tiny hall. <laughs> so we went to tarpon springs in this video mm -hmm. and they actually happen to have like a street fair kind of thing going on for the weekend and um well we we only we only did buy some little things from the street fair i'll show you in a minute but um we mostly kind of just collected uh seashells <laughs> we went on <laughs> yeah we did buy some sponges but we used them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I have those. I have little sponges. I should have uh. brought them down. Maybe I'll bring them and show you guys. 
seashells from the seashore. Yeah. Oh, I took out some of the cooler ones. Mm -hmm. So I really liked these shiny ones. I found a couple of them. Mm -hmm. So these ones, I mean, I think these ones would make like really cool jewelry or something. Right. Yeah, they're really shiny. Yeah, and they think they're kind of like the more worn down or like inner parts of like the regular shells that yeah. are kind of like... Yeah. I don't know. There was like, and the sand is so white like there. It's it's just crushed up seashells, is what the sand is, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. it was crazy. And then of all course. three of us got earrings from that guy. Yeah, so um, they're really cool earrings. Mom you got s you saw them on the guy. <laughs> yeah, mom got some bigger um, jeweled ones mm -hmm. because they matched her ears nicer. Yeah. She's got some nice long ears, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Earlobes. Yeah. I got some little mini ones because they kind of matched my face better. And he said these ones were pretty popular. He calls them his candy ones because of the the pearl pinks and stuff. Uh-huh. But I really like how yeah. these look. I almost forgot I had them when we got back. And I was like, oh, I can wear my new earrings. Yeah. And then she got a, a bracelet. Yes. Uh, this I just got in one of the little gifty shops. But I kind of wanted something to remind me of the trip, and I ended up wearing this pretty much every day after I bought it. It just kind of felt like it matched the uh, ambiance, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And, you know, we took the little boat ride there and yeah. went out to the island where we got the seashells. Yeah. And, um, I think. And then we looked at all the. I think Mom found this one. This one looks really cool. I mean, I love all the sponges. Yeah. I'm, you know, I wanted to buy some big seashells, but, you know, the trouble with getting them back and, you know, not broken. <laughs> oh. So, let's see. Little pieces of sand dollar. Yeah, pieces of sand dollar. We tried to find a whole one, but I'm, you know, people scour that beach every day. Yeah. So, all right. This one's cool. <laughs> I just want to show you guys all my seashells. This one I found, and I was like, "Oh, look! Oh, it's oh, hold it still. It's kind of there broken, but it kind of looks like it has like two holes in it, which is kind of cool. Yeah, and it looks a little bit more like a fossil of some sort. Uh huh. But yeah, Mom and Faith and I did some scouring, and we uh, we found all of these. And then Faith had a good idea to get some sort of a jar so we could collect sand while we were in Florida. Yeah. So. She got one from Clearwater Beach, and we'll show you that later, because Clearwater Beach was the last day. Yeah. And we um, we barely saw it. I really do want to see that one. <laughs> <laughs> In daylight. Okay. She's going to get sponges. Okay. She's back with the sponges. <laughs> so in Tarpon right. Spring, they had some really cool, like, giant sponges. Yeah. And on the trip, they were talking about the sponges and how, you know, the natural ones are biodegradable, whereas in the fake ones... Are they take like decades maybe to disintegrate? Yeah, and so, they're actually bad for yeah. your skin and stuff. Yeah, so <laughs> they say to buy the um, the natural ones. Well, mm -hmm. we just wanted a little a little piece of tarp and springs. <laughs> and so the, we got a bunch of little facial sponges. Yeah, so we got we each got one because they were like I think they were like a deal or something. Yeah. But this is what they look like dried. This is how we bought them. And then Let's see if I can see the. Focus, clothes. focus. There it is. Yeah. And I got one wet to show you it like grows, you know, it like grows, it's puffy. Yeah. If you've ever seen a makeup sponge, that's kind of the same yeah. thing. And these and ones are facial slash makeup ones. I do you remember what she called them? Are they called white sponges or something? Something like that. Maybe yeah. yellow sponge. I think the yellow ones are the ones you use for your kitchen. Yeah. I mean they're they're all really cool. <laughs> They're really the soft. big, These big ones, ones like you saw in the beginning when we first got there. They're really pricey. I mean, they're probably like eighty dollars or something. But you can, you I know, mean, they are cut pieces there. Though. Yeah, you can cut pieces and and just use them as you need them. And a yeah. lot, they'll just wear down. And they don't wear down like regular sponges either. Yeah, he so. said what you do is you don't wring them you squeeze the water out and they last mm -hmm. longer because if you wring them they disintegrate faster yeah so i did use this one a couple times i have to <laughs> use it again yeah okay so that's it 
Say goodbye. Bye. Till the next one. Till the next one. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the next one will be our next day in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Which, man, like, I like that we're posting these videos for you guys because I kind of get to relive it. <laughs> go, yeah. Go back to vacation. Yeah, I mean, it was so much stuff and so full of everything that, you know, I actually have to go back and look at my my notes because I kept um, a Google Docs of everything mm -hmm. that we did. Yeah, so. vacations are always like that though. You like, it's like coming back home is coming back to reality. Like you were in a dream and it's <laughs> wonderful. I felt like I was on a different planet when I came back. Right? It was yeah, so it was weird. like, what am I doing here again? <laughs> Did I stay in Florida? Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye.